Hello everyone, welcome to Microwave and Antenna Research Laboratory at University of Cyprus. My name is Dr. Abdul Kiddus. I'm working here as a postdoctoral researcher on a Horizon 2020 FET Open project. The Microwave and Antenna Research Laboratory focused on the designing of novel electromagnetic structures such as antennas and RF, microwave and millimeter wave circuits. In this lab, there are more than four PhD students who are working on different antennas and microwave circuits for application ranging from genetic, uh, ranging from uh, engineered metamaterials, antennas for biomedical applications, RF energy harvesting and power scavenging circuits, also the compact reconfigurable antenna systems for different applications in the field of satellite communication. As I mentioned earlier, this lab is solely focused on the design and the prototyping of high frequency circuits. So this lab is equipped with all the latest state of the art numerical tools, including ADS, CST, HFSS, for the design purposes. From design to the prototyping of devices, we have a, a range of equipment from additive manufacturing until to the CNC, mechanical CNC machines. From additive manufacturing point of view, first we have a 3D printer, which is a Prusa SL1. And once we printed that material uh, on this uh, printer, then we use this piece of equipment for its washing and curing. This piece of equipment is to have a 3D, to print 3D model. The next one over here, we have a Volterra 1 2D printer where we can print nanoparticle inks on PCB of different kind of heights and shape. Later on, we also have a small CNC mechanical machine that can be used for low frequency circuits until 2 GHz because its precision is not very good. After that, I will show you now our top of the notch, more uh, efficient mechanical milling machine. On the other hand, in this lab, we have a fully automated high performance and rapid PCB prototyping milling machine is LPKF Protomat H100 where we normally do the fabrication or prototyping of our RF and microwave high frequency PCBs. Along with that we also have a an, an wet etching for the PCB prototyping again where we use a rotor spray machine with the chemicals of ferric chloride acid. Once we completed all the fabrication of the boards, PCB stru structures and the layout, the next step is to mount our electronic component. Normally we use SMD based electronic components that are mounted and soldered over here. Over here we have our soldering station where we have a number of different soldering tools consisting of digital soldering gun and then hot air gun plus a scope where we can see when we are doing any soldering on the PCB. Once we did our soldering of the PCB, the next stage is to see if we have successfully mounted all the components. In order to look each component, we use normally this a very highly precise microscope where we can see directly how much soldering and is all the components are soldered the way we want it. Once we have the confirmation of all the mounting of the component is done successfully, the next stage is comes to test this PCB or antenna with our vector network analyzer. After the successful implementation and prototyping the device, the next stage is to characterize it. For that, we normally use vector network analyzer. This is a one of the backbone equipment for this microwave research level. We have a four port vector network analyzer from Keysight, ranges from 10 megahertz until 67 gigahertz that can be used to characterize single port like a device like antennas, multiple devices like filters and other circuits. 
Along that, we also have a Keyside Dielectric Measurement Probe, which is a coaxial probe that can be used to measure the dielectric properties in terms of permittivity, permeability, and loss tangent for semi-solid materials. 